everyone, good morning. It's Thursday, June 4th, 2020. Welcome to another day of online learning. Hope everyone had a good day yesterday. Big rainstorm in the afternoon, which is always good because it waters all the plants and the flowers and everything that I've planted didn't have to get watered by me or my husband or the girls, so Mother Nature helped out yesterday. Uh, lots of shout outs today. So uh, I won't give you the big grand total for the whole class, I'll just do individually first. Uh, yesterday, the class answered uh, 3,930 questions, which was awesome. Uh, Jonathan answered 111 questions. Ariana did uh, 128 questions. Alice did 145 questions. Matthew answered 137 questions. Chris answered 206 questions. Awesome, Chris. Uh, Megan answered 246 questions. Amelia did 115 questions. Ashley L. did 239 questions. Awesome. Christian, 143 questions. Alex, 141 questions. Lorenzo, 180 questions. <coughs> Morgan, 119 questions. Avery, 190 questions. That was awesome, Avery. Ion, 120 questions. Yousef, 131 questions. Number three was Ali with 338 questions. Number two, Adriel, 425 questions. And number one, Owen, 464 questions. Awesome. So our grand total for the class is 175,233. So we need about 25,000 questions, which if we average 4,000 over the next six days, we're gonna come in, that four times six is 24, we're gonna come in at 24,000. So we need to keep our average over 4,200. So yesterday we would have been short 300. Um, yeah, so we really, so if you are not on our list, remember to be on our shout out list, you need to answer over 100 questions and the questions of the assigned work. Um, so if you have not been on our shout out list, you need to get on our shout out list to help our class. So there's probably six or eight people missing and they're kind of the same six or eight people a lot of times. So we need to, if you notice the same people are doing over a hundred questions. So we need to hear from the other people as well. We, it's a group effort here. Um, I also wanted to let you know that in addition to doing a class award, so our goal is 200,000 questions. And if we keep at this pace, we're gonna miss it by about a thousand questions. Not even, 750 questions we're gonna miss it by. So if you if your list if your name wasn't on the shout out list today, it needs to be on there tomorrow, please. Um, anyway, our individual awards, I looked up, you do get individual awards. I have a whole award center. So I'm going to print out the uh, some of your awards and I'll um, mail it to you, you know, at the end of the school year. But I do want to tell you that really great, we have four people who have answered over 10,000 questions each. So those four people is Ali, Lee, Christian, Lorenzo, and Owen. They have answered over 10,000 questions. And Ariana, you only need 40 more to get to that 10,000 mark. Um, a bunch of you have like thousands and thousands of questions, but Ariana was the closest at 40 more. So let's see if we can do a good effort last few days of school and we'll see. So alrighty, so those were all our shout outs. Uh, the end of the year awards, as of this filming, well as of me preparing for the filming and the writing and, and doing all my like research and my plans and all that, uh, we needed five more. But by the time I sent out reminders and I got emails back, we're down to one more, one more person. So hopefully, by the time this video, you're watching it, that one person has handed it in. I'll let you know during uh, Zoom. Uh, fourth grade video, we have about half the class have done the video. The video is due today. And unlike the awards, it can't be turned in late because I'm not in charge of it. Um, so Mrs. DePaulo is in charge of it for the grade and she's collecting from all the fourth graders. So it just, it can't be turned in late. So if you want to be part of the fourth grade video, you have to do it today. Um, and I would say on the earlier side than the later side. 
So these are the, the following people have handed their have handed in but have submitted their video um, to the online folder. It is Megan, Brianna, Alex, Ali, Adriel, Christian, Luca, Chris, Ashley P, Maria, Charlie, Lorenzo, Alice, and Owen. If you have not done your video, it's pretty easy. This is what you need to do. You can grab your phone. And just like I'm doing, I use my phone for all these videos. And when I take the phone, when I hit, you know, stop, I just upload it to YouTube. So it's going to be a similar process. You're going to do, take your phone, do your video. Then you're going to go to Edmodo and go to the link that I put. It's like a, it's like a folder. So go to that link, open the link. When you have that link opened, it actually opens up a folder and you'll see all the other kids who did their videos. And there's um, a like a button that says upload. You hit upload and it's gonna go to your gallery and then you just choose the video. That's all it is. It's like super easy from your phone. I would say that's the easiest device. So if you have not done your video, please do it. Because I would hate for you to be disappointed and not be part of it. Because you'll you might feel sad that the whole grade put together something and it's been sent out to everyone and you weren't part of it. And like I said, it's not me doing it, so I can't say it's okay to hand it in late because it's it's not me doing it. Um, so please, please, please do it. All right, so big surprise next Friday, June 12th, which is our last day of instruction and class. We're gonna have Zoom in the morning and um, big surprise, big surprise. I'm going to announce it on Monday so you can look forward to it. I hope you'll look forward to it all week. I think it's a pretty good surprise, but hopefully you do too. Um, today we have our Zoom meeting at 10.30. It's a whole class meeting at 10.30, and you need to bring your journal entry from yesterday. A few people hadn't finished that Venn diagram or haven't done the Venn diagram, so those people have to bring the Venn diagram as well from Writing Freedom. And uh, as a reminder, if you have a library book or you have an instrument, or you have anything that needs to go back to, to Abby Lane, uh, Tuesday, June 9th is the day to do it. The school will be open eight to three. I put the Dr. Maurer's memo on our Edmodo page, uh, grade four page, so you'll get to read. And I, I, I actually think you have to go to the small parking lot cafeteria, but don't quote me on that. You have to look at it, but it's Tuesday, eight to three. Tuesday, June 9th, eight to three. So collect all those books. And if it's not even a library book, like I said, if it's my book, um, please bring it back. And then you could put a little note on it, like a little sticky on it, please send, give to Mrs. Schneider. Um, if you, if it's my book and you have not read it yet, you're certainly welcome to keep it until you've read it. Uh, I'm thinking though, we've been home for three months that if you haven't read it by now, you probably won't read it. So think about that. Um, and anyway, so please return everything. All right, five things today. We have Blackwater Swamp. We, it's, uh, today is chapters 23 and 24, and tomorrow is um, chapter 25, last, last chapter. So it's a good, it's a good book. I forgot how good it was. Um, next week, we're gonna read Writing Freedom. It's perfect, it's 10 chapters. So this is the story that you're reading in Journeys this week. And um, I waited to read this book until you read the story in Journeys. So you have like a little like gist of what's going on in the story. So two chapters a day next week, we'll get it done in five days. Awesome. Um, all right, so that's first, grade four, chapter 23 and 24 in Blackwater Swamp. ELA, you're going to be uh, listening to Writing Freedom again and you're going to be doing uh, IXL language arts on comparing and contrasting characters. So that was like a perfect connection. Uh, math, you're going to do step up lesson four, which is 17-4, uh, estimating the product of a decimal and a whole number. And you're gonna watch my video that I'm gonna make next, and then you're going to um, do IXL. I also have, I have one lesson for the, I have one assignment on IXL for this lesson, and then all the other assignments are just math facts, to practice your math facts. 
uh, science, Generation Genius, Adaptations and the Environment. Adaptations and the Environment. Um, I know how much you guys love Generation G Genius and I wanted to let you know that those links that I have on the Edmodo page are good for 30 days. So if there's a lesson, like a video that you really loved, you could go back and watch it. Um, I had heard the Edmodo page will be like how it is now until like the middle of July. So, um, you know, if you like it, just, you know, food for thought. If you really like those videos, you can go back and watch them. Uh, today is Adaptations and the Environment, like I said. And Social Studies, Chapter 18 in New York State Story. You're going to learn about, yesterday you read about President um, McKinley, who went to the Pan um, American Exposition and was assassinated, which means he was, sh he was killed. So if you're like um, a political leader and you're you're killed by someone, um, that is called an assassination. So he was shot and died. Um, so now today you're gonna hear about who took over, he was president of the United States, so who took over when he was killed? And um, I'm gonna give you a tip, it was Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. And um, that was one question on social days. Uh, I won't give you any other questions. Um, and then you're gonna read about Rochester which was, it's a major city in New York. I think we've talked about Rochester a few times before, so I think you know that. Um, Alrighty, so those five things for today. So please, please, please do your video. It's gonna, uh, I won't be able to save you, like if you don't do it. Um, so please get your video in on time today, today. And like I said, super easy from your phone. All you have to do, I think pretty much all of you who have a phone have Edmodo on your phone. So I'm gonna say the directions again. Take the video on your phone, then when it's done, go to the Edmodo page and find the, the, um, the post about it, which was on the grade four page. Click on the link that I sent. It's like a long link, like Lowtown Schools. It's like a shared folder, blah, blah, blah. It has my name in it too. Click on that link. Once you click on that link, it opens up the folder. There's an upload button. Hit upload and your choices of pictures and videos or whatnot, your gallery will come up and then choose your video. And that's that's how easy it is. So please, please, please do that today. Alrighty, so um, I'll see everyone today at Zoom, 10.30. As a reminder, I'm going up to Abby tomorrow for like, like I think it's like a three hour meeting. It's like nine to 12. And um, I do have to pack up our classroom and I wanna print out all our awards and do all that so I'll probably be there for most of the day and um, that's why we won't have zoom on Friday alrighty and I will see you later everyone don't forget to bring your journal entry to the uh, to our zoom meeting alrighty bye